Hi, my name is Sarah. In this podcast, I want to share with you why I created my Mindful Morning Sessions and also introduce myself so you can get to know me and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So, I am a yoga teacher and a dancer and as well a healer and mind coach. I studied sports science and alternative medicine. So, I was working a lot with my body and I always wanted to know more. I wanted to know why is my body working this way? Why do I have pain? Why does it come to certain injuries or even diseases? So little by little I was digging deeper and deeper and deeper, first on a physical level studying sports science. And when I got older and older I realized there's a certain um, barrier there. So you can study all about the body, about medicine, about the medical function, but When it comes to the end, something is missing. If you want to dive deeper and really understand you better, you have to go layer by layer by layer, deep down in your subconsciousness, into your mind. And on my journey there, I realized that opening the spheres to my subconsciousness, my world became so much bigger and bigger and bigger. And by finding that world, it opened up a new horizon to me. This is what I want to share with you. I want to give you a little insight into my life and how I dealt with my life in difficult times. So I feel that at the moment we are also in, in a times of a crisis or challenging times, as I might also call it. So that there is happening a lot in the outside world. I don't need to talk about it. And sometimes it's difficult to stay calm within yourself. But I truly believe that this is your power. Your inner world is your power because you cannot change what is happening in the outside world, at least not from today to tomorrow. But you can always change how you feel. And so by creating a safe inner world, you're also not so vulnerable to what is happening in the outside world. So coming to the following questions I want to answer in this podcast. First of all, why is a morning routine so important? What can it give to me? Second of all, what can I do if I feel helpless to what is happening around me? Third, how can I step out of the position of a victim into an active position, a creative and creating position? So why is a morning routine so important and why did I design this program of starting the day off together? Um, I think a morning routine is more important than ever. So when you wake up in the morning and the first thing you do is probably checking your Facebook or your Insta account, reading the news, so you check in to what is happening around me, to the outside world. And most probably you will wake up already with the news, with um, worrying, uh, worrying headlines, and this is how you start your day. So I suggest you, why not starting the day differently And checking into yourself before you start to check in the outer world. So take a moment to see what is going on inside of you. What is there? How do I feel? And how? what can I do in order to start my day more positive? Because this is in the end the only thing that matters. How I feel. So with my morning sessions I want to give you an example of how you can do it. Um, we start the session with a simple set of yoga, so four sun salutations, which is of course not necessary, but I feel it wakes up the, the body and gives us more ec oxygen and also releasing some hormones to start the day with. But then we always do a 15 minute, more or less 15 minute meditation. And in this meditation, I want to give you the tools that you can use also by your own which means to check in in your own world and then um, creating your own inner world with inner visions. Um, as I said earlier, I think this is so important in this time 
to realize I don't depend on the outer world if I have my safe inner world. Um, yes, so you're very happy to join my morning routine and I show you the different tools that I usually use for myself day to day. And I can really feel it makes a difference. Since I started to do it, I feel more calm during the day, more positive. And I also strongly believe in the law of attraction of I, I attract people and situations that are in the same vibration as my vibration. In the end, a vibration is only another word or a word for what is going on in my inner world. So every emotion and every feeling creates a vibration inside of me. Um, you can easily feel this when you, when you feel angry, for example. Your body is taking like a contraction. You are angry, you contract your muscles. And it's a very different feeling and energy as if you are, for example, in love. You open up your heart, you are happy, you, f you feel fulfilled like with this rosa sunglasses on your eyes so you can easily um, try to do that feel into the feeling of anger and then remind yourself the last time you were really really happily in love how does that feel and what I want to do in the morning is create this feeling of happiness instead of waking up with anger or fear because fear contracts everything fear keeps us from growing fear is shrinking instead of expanding fear is never connecting but always taking apart so instead of starting the day with fear you can choose your day to start your day with abundance or with love or with happiness this is the thing you can actively choose to do And this already brings me to the second question. What can I do if I feel helpless to what is happening around me? Exactly this. <laughs> Check into your inner world. Observe your inner world. And then change the feeling inside of you. Like this, you might not be able to change the outer world, but what you have in your inner world has said this before. And also, this is the key to how can I step out of the position of a victim into an active position. Because there's always something happening around us. Maybe uh, it's the fault of my boss, or it's the fault of society or of the politicians, Or maybe just my child is sick and I cannot do what I wanted to do. Or I have no money, so this is why I cannot start off. Or yeah, there are millions of things you can find as an excuse not to do what you want to do or not being able to do what you can do. And I'm not saying this is not true and you might struggle with something and also maybe with a hard thing. But it's not going to help you. And you might know this yourself, but sometimes it's helpful if somebody is telling you again, it's not going to help you. So stop it. Simply stop it. <laughs> And if you realize that you can act like a victim is making you small, being the victim is making you like passive, You are not able to act, not able to do anything because it's the fault of this and that personal circumstance. Instead of when you take this uh, circumstance and situation, you say, okay, this is what it is. I might not be happy at the moment, but what can I do now? What can I still do? How can I create something that fulfills me in my inside world? And there's always something you can do. It might be just a tiny little thing that then grows into a bigger thing but you might not be able to change what is outside but you are able to change your inside and that's your biggest gift and also a big relief because it means that you actually can do something i don't know if this sounds all too abstract I'm so happy to receive your questions so I maybe can answer a little in detail what I mean. And 
and you are more than welcome to invite the mindful morning sessions so you can um, join us and the community and and see what I mean with morning routine with checking in into yourself with creating your day and starting your day with a positive mindset and yes this is all I have to tell you for today so I hope you have a beautiful day and a beautiful week and I might see you tomorrow at 7.15 or any other day have a beautiful day bye bye